Hello everyone and welcome back to the TSG. Today we're carrying on the goalkeeper career mode and look at the table. It looks like we're not doing so well. We're down in sixth but we are only three points off top of the league so a lot to play for this episode and we are playing Newcastle who are three points behind us so they could potentially get themselves into the title race if they beat us today. And I don't know about goal difference but they could potentially go over us as well so it's a big big game and a tough game this one. Here's the two lineups then for today. As you can see, Yanazai's starting. He had a brilliant debut last episode. If you haven't watched it already, go check that out. And if you haven't already looked over on Twitch, please do give me a follow. Give me some support over there. I do try to stream um, three or four times a week. Both playing five at the back. Silva scored four in his last three. He could be a threat. Look at the Emirates though. It's packed. It's a big day. Let's start the episode off well. Kind of, boys. Robertone into Silva. Robertone. He's beat the man. Eggestein. Oh, good save. Whew. Well done, Gordon. Good start, that. Not a great start from the defence, though. Look at that. Shot was fairly close to us in the end, but decent save. Silva. Eggestein. Lays it off. St. Maximan scores. Wow. 14 minutes and we've been absolutely dominated so far. I don't think we've been able to get our own half. This again, defence, where are you? Look, simple ball through and then just drill too hard. Good finish. Right, corner to Newcastle. Ball in at the front post and big save, Gordon, clear it. <laughs> I mean, Newcastle could be 3-0 up easily. Look at this. Ball comes in. It's a great ball. I'm maybe, well, definitely out of position here. This is going it. Wait, is it going in? I don't know. Oh, look where he saves it. That, that's got to hurt. I'm not sure if that's going in, but either way, decent save there after being in a bad position. They go then half time and it was a half of pure dominance from Newcastle. That was disappointing. Lucky to only be 1-0 down though. Look at that, 73% of the ball to Newcastle. That is just not acceptable. We need to get back into this and back into it quick. Yanazai lays it off to Insigne. Back to Yanazai. Turns the man, shoots and Dubravka with the save. That's the first real chance we've had all match. And it come to Yana's eye. He couldn't put it away though. Decent save. Berger. Zagadu. Not really where you want the centre back, but Berger's got it. Back to Zagadu. Nice. Henderson. Yana's eye. Great feet. Berger. Heads it straight at Dubravka. It's promising though. This last 10 minutes, we've actually created a couple of chances. Calvert Lewin. It's a great touchdown. He's done really well. Oh, and Singer shoots instead of laying him back in. Full time, 1-0 loss, and that's a horrible one to take. We were poor up until about the last 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Oh, Newcastle just wanted it more, looked better. We got an 8 rating. We did make some decent saves in the first half. I mean, we definitely were better second half, looking at the stats there, but still not enough. Newcastle probably... Well, definitely do still deserve to win, but that's an annoying one to start the episode with. Anyway, got to forget about that game pretty quickly. We're moving on to the Europa League knockout stages now. We're into the round of 32. Um, we're at home to Eti uh, St Etienne first, and then obviously we'll have the away leg. Big chance here at the Emirates to get us an advantage. All right, big, big game. Potentially Europa League, you know, it could be a trophy we win. Uh, we obviously have to get past these first though. Tierney into Martinelli. Up to Calvert-Lewin and not a sensible idea to head from there when there's no pace on the ball whatsoever. Calvert-Lewin lays it off. Berger shoots and he scores. He hits the post and it goes in. Happy days with 1-0 up inside 18 minutes. That's much more like it. That was a great layoff, great finish and we have... Well, it's, it's completely roles reversed this time. We, uh, St Etienne's not been able to get out of their own half so far this game. We've just pinned them in and created a great chance there. This was a lovely finish. 
You're not saving that. No chance. Calvert-Lewin, can we get one more quickly before half-time? Get the shot off. Where's he going with it? Yanazai. Back to Calvert-Lewin. But he's still going. Oh, he just beat the man. Nobody was hitting it. Fair enough. Half-time. We're 1-0 up. That was much better. Carballo. He's put it into Antonio. Oh, he's put it wide. I mean, are you even? Sorry, it wasn't Antonio. Oh, he's put it wide. I don't think we saved that. No, he has. He's just genuinely missed the target. We did come out and close the angle quick. That's a big miss from Ayu. Yanazai. Whips the ball into the back post. It's a perfect ball. Martinelli walks into the goal. That is lucky because that header was a gr uh, great save from their keeper. It was lucky it bounced straight back to him. And then obviously he couldn't miss the second one. What a ball though from Yanazai. He's been a really good player for us. Look at that. Right on a plate. And then a bit of luck. 2-0 up. This is perfect. Now we just need to keep a clean sheet. Don't let them have any away goals. And we'll be in a really nice position. And he's just taken Martinelli off after scoring. Fair enough. Great ball out wide. Insigne. Great ball. This time to Yanazai. Yanazai on the volley. Hits the post. We have been so good this game. What a reply. Or what a response to that Newcastle game. We should have had three or four goals now. Full time then, 2-0 win. It could have even been more, but great performance, great clean sheet, happy days. Look at that, the fans are buzzing with that one. So we're straight into this game against Burnley in the Premier League. They are 13th, they play the classic 4-4-2. Um, there's our lineup on the right. It looks like Yanazai's been rested, as has Martinelli. So we changed the team a little bit for this game. Uh, but we should, we should still have the quality to come out with the three points. Rob Holdings. That centre-back for Burnley, eh? Let's see. We should be able to get past him. Big, big game this. Need the three points. Henderson done really well there. Intercepted it. Into Sarabia. And Sarabia scores. Seven minutes in, we won nil up. And that's a defensive mistake for Burnley. Wow. Just gave us the ball. Henderson done well to close him down and win it. But that was a big mistake from them. Early lead for us. Look here, Henderson done well, but you can't lose the ball there. Good finish though, really good finish. Ball was a little bit behind him, wrapped his left leg round it. <whistles> Love it. Loser. Brown here went to York. Oh, and he's crept it through our legs or next to our legs, I don't know. But oh, he hit it hard and low, we're not going to save that. It's just too easy for them. Look at this. They just squeeze it through the gap and then not much we can do about that. Almost got our foot there, but... Good goal from Burnley. It's 1-0. Oh, Kareke. Oh, big, big save. And we get an accomplishment. Wow. Wow. That was a good chance. No one marking him. No one around him there. Turn, shot. And we get our right fingertips to that. Big save that Gordon. Keeps it one all. Burnley don't look bad at all. Oh no. Okareke has been played in again. This time we make the save and it's straight back to... Oh, it's Moses even. I don't know what more we can do. We make that first save really well and it just falls straight back to him. It's unlucky. Look. That's a, oh. Just falling straight back to him. We're 2-1 down after going 1-0 up in 7 minutes. That's not good. Half time, 2-1 down and that is not how you defend. Too many chances given to him and they've taken them. 71st minute, we need a goal soon. The scene there, that's a great ball. Lorente on the volley. Oh my god. I think that was cleared off the line. Here we go. Oh, he manages to chest it down. Gets the shot off. And yeah, look, that's going in if that player's not behind the keeper there. Oh, good ball in. The scene Lovely ball. Martinelli. Make something happen. He does. Oh, straight up Pope though. 
oh, just a yard or two to either side of him. And there was no way he was saving that. It was straight at him. We've got a free kick and a really good position. It looks like Insigne is going to take it. Uh, let me get in. 18 yards out. Literally right on the edge of the box. Put it away. He's hit the bar. This is not our game, is it? It's really not our game. Just literally two inches further in front. It would have been a penalty. He's hit the bar. It's unlucky. Oh. Ten minutes to go. Go on. Last chance of the game. Martinelli. He crosses. It's a great ball. Insigne brings it down and scores. Get in there. We do deserve that so much. Oh, my God. Look at all the Burnley players on the floor. Oh, my God. That is the least we deserve. If we were going to lose. Oh. Bloody Burnley, eh? We almost lost to them when we definitely didn't deserve to. I mean, we should have won it. But, oh, my God. I'll take a point. 93rd minute of two minutes added on. Insigne on the chest. And a lovely finish. God, that was an exciting game. <laughs> oh. Annoying though we didn't get all three points. Next episode then we'll obviously be starting with the second leg of the St Etienne game. We put ourselves in a really good position for that. Um, and then we'll have uh, Brighton in the Premier League. And then on the last day of the month we will have the FA Cup round of 16. So beat Newcastle there. Get our revenge on them. And we'll be into the quarterfinals of that. So we are still in some cup competitions. Anyway, it wasn't the best of episodes in the league. We could get only get a loss and a draw. Um, I think the draw against Burnley definitely not deserved. I think the Newcastle game, we got dominated. Fair play to them. But then a really good performance in between that against St Etienne. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the second leg of that. If you do enjoy these videos, please leave them a like. Because it does push me up in YouTube. Get more people seeing the channel. And if you are new and do enjoy this series, then please do subscribe to the channel. Again, that helps me out a lot. So thank you for watching. I've been the TSG. Goodbye.